very easy definition of a loss they can give a definition of profit as well uh, loss you know that when the cost of productions are high and uh, as compared to the sales revenue then there will be a loss occurring when the cost of production is more than the earnings sales revenue and profit is the opposite it means that your earnings sales revenues are more than your cost of production this is the economic definition of profit and loss then we come to question number 12 which is difference between internal and external economies of scale internal economies of scale is the growth of the firm uh, because of uh, its own resources uh, and the average cost of production uh, will be reduced uh, and there is a large output produced uh, the internal economies of scale whenever there is a question write down the types of the internal economies of scale and that is basically uh, financial economies and risk bearing economies technical economies and all those things external economies of scale basically is uh, the when the average cost of production uh, is decreasing uh, for the entire industry average cost of production is reducing for the entire industry and a large output is produced for the entire industry so that is external economies of scale external economies of scale is because of some outside external factors such as the growth of the entire industry is benefiting all the firms in the economy the government help provision of infrastructure the firms are locating near to each other all these are external economies of scale question number 13 the important one for this year how the supply of capital and enterprise may increase uh, supply of capital uh, may increase because of uh, advancement in technology uh, there can be a more production of uh, capital goods uh, there can be uh, if uh, the production overall productivity among uh, the workers and entrepreneurs uh, is increasing has been increasing that will also increase the supply of capital it also increases the supply of capital can be increased sometime to depend on uh, imported uh, machinery and equipment in the, and the, if the government decide that now we have to increase uh, the supply of capital they may have to import it and it will give you a long-term benefit enterprise how the supply of enterprise increase in training, education, uh, government, uh, favorable con economic conditions, provision of, uh, you know, the things which are really good for starting a business. So that will increase the supply of enterprise. Uh, question number 14, benefits of public corporation to the people, uh, better uh, quality services and a responsible service provision from the government in the case of public corporation to the people equal distribution of uh, goods and services will be there so you can assume that there will be a free uh, fair treatment uh, to the consumers from the government in the case of public corporations another advantage is that public corporations are huge and they can enjoy economies of scale because of that there will be a lower price available for the consumers. Question number 15, which function of money is important? You will explain all the functions of money and then write down that medium of exchange is the most important function of money. Question number 16, why central bank would like to increase borrowing? The government, uh, the central bank will increase, try to increase the borrowing with the help of an expansionary monetary policy and whatever be the advantages of expansionary monetary policy that are basically the reasons why the central bank would like to increase borrowing for example they would uh, they want to um, increase borrowing so that uh, there will be more economic activity the demand aggregate demand may increase people ha will have more money they can invest in the business, they can expand their businesses and even 
they can have a better living standard by you know availing all these uh, uh, you know credit facilities which are there question number 17 what factors are responsible for a high demand for a specific profession uh, for example that profession or workers are a group of workers which are related to a sector which is in high demand maybe that profession is producing something which is price inelastic in nature uh, maybe that specific uh, profession is uh, gaining uh, importance globally for example you can give examples of healthcare workers uh, in the time of uh, this covid 19 so there can be so many different reasons why a specific profession is ahead in demand as compared to others. Question 18 is very simple, multinational definition of multinational. They have headquarters in one country and they have operations all over the world. And they produce in more than one country, huge com companies and organizations. Question 19 two advantages and two disadvantages of a specialization to the workers to the workers specialization is a, is a process in which you are going to produce the goods at which you are best at this is the best definition of specialization and division of labor there is a bit of a difference division of labor is related to the specialization of workers so this question is about the division of labor basically and uh, division of labor will make the pro uh, the labor workers more productive efficient quick and uh, trained they can train themselves and they will have a higher demand in the economy as well they will become perfect disadvantages they can be uh, feeling bored at times they may not have variety of skills developed for them in them that is a problem Question number 20, how a change in PED may benefit a producer? How a change in PED may benefit a producer? If the products become price elastic, producers can decrease the price to get more revenue. If the, uh, if the products are becoming more price inelastic, they can increase the price to get more revenue. So these changes in the PED, both these cases you have to write. So this is, these are the 20 questions which we have uh, considered today, which are really very important. And then uh, the rest of the questions we will discuss in the next class. Thank you, students.